Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for um, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, this is your weekly reading for this week. Um, Divine Feminine, I just want to say, um, as far as, you know, anybody, this message don't have to be for like business owners or divine feminists that start in a business or whatever. It can be for anything in life um, that you're trying to start. This could be looking for a job, looking for housing. Um, it can be for business as well. I picked up business, but it can be for every aspect of life. But um, the messages that I got for divine feminists this week is don't worry about it. There may be delays. Don't worry about it. Um, you may have to make adjustments. Um, tweak certain things to whatever you start. And this could be a business. This could, this could be your logo. Your branding. You may have to... Um, you're, you might be in the process of rebranding your brand, your logo, whatever it may be. Um, I got strongly Divine Feminist applying for LLCs things like that but like i said there will be some hiccups i got hiccups um but don't worry about it delays don't worry about it um you might have to make um unexpected adjustments don't worry about it things might fall through might not go exactly how you expected it um timing may be off don't worry about it that's what I'm getting. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. And, you know, move accordingly. Um, if you wanted a specific name for your business and you have to choose another name or a logo, you might have to do a different color. Don't, you know, things like that. Don't worry about it. And um, go with the flow. Delay, delay does not mean the denial. Um, and it's not a big deal. I'm getting it's not a big deal. And where I get those messages from is because Divine Feminine, this week, there might be negative energy around you. It's, it might be negative energy around you. It could be some karmics around you. Um, and what I, where I got that message from was after I did the karmic reading this morning. I did the karmic reading this morning. And it's like a lot of stuff was happening to me after that. So um, things that I got on my board, like this right here, that broke. It just fell over. So it's like it's broke. It's broke. But I still sat it in there and I'm going to just have to buy me a new one. Things like little petty things like that. So just negative energy around you. Um, uh, that might bother you, but it's like, I felt some type of way when it broke, but it's like, what can I do? I'm gonna go buy a new one. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, and as well, just uploading as well, the karmics video part two, my internet started acting up. All types of stuff was happening when I got done with the karmic reading. So, that is just some negative energy around you. You're going to have to push past that negative energy. You're going to have to put, push past it. Um, But I don't think you're going to be too bothered by it. Because it's nothing major. It, it is, it's nothing major the neg negative energy can do to you. It's just little annoyances. But it's nothing major. It's just something that you're going to work around. That's all. So, y'all might be experiencing that because when I got done with that karmic reading, everything went wrong. <laughs> so, uh, just little things was going on. My thing dropped. It just fell. Um, my internet started acting up. Part two is giving me a hard time to download. It's going to download, but it's just, it's giving me a hard time. But I'm going to get the Karmics reading part two out. It might be a little late, but part two will be out. Um, So, yeah. It's just karmic, karmic energy. That's what I'm going to say. Just karmic energy. 
Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway. Divine Feminines. I got y'all Oracle from a different deck this week. So, I got y'all Oracle from this deck and this Activations Oracle. And the card that came out for you was Perception. And that's 35. Break that down. Number 7. And I'll read it when I get to it. But it's a very, it's a very interesting um, oracle. Very interesting. So I'll read it when I get up there. And I also pulled you guys another oracle. From, from the Wild Offerings deck. Oracle deck. And you guys got truth. And it say. When everything is done as an offering. Even the act of speaking. You get shown when to talk. And when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. So I'm getting Divine Feminine this week. Um, you got to know when to talk, when to be quiet. Choose your words very wisely. Um, as well, be careful of who you talk around. You got to, you know, be discerning of who you talking to, how you're talking, your body language, everything. So, <clears throat> or you be mindful of other people's body language. So, I'm getting communication, the throat chakra, things like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. So, first card out was the star. It came out in reverse. The star in reverse don't have to always be negative. The star in reverse could be letting me know, Divine Feminine, you letting something go. And it's like you glad to let it go. You're not hoping for it. You ain't praying for it. You you accept the fact that it ain't for you. And you letting it go. Good written. The star in reverse. On a negative note, the star in reverse could mean some type of um, demonic attack. Somebody, divine feminine. This could be you or somebody else. Is under some type of demonic attack. The star in reverse could also be depression. That can be the attack. Some type of depression. This is someone who has lost all hope. Someone who has given up. Um, the star in reverse can also mean like karmic energy. The star in reverse is like a lost soul. What clarified the star in reverse was the empress. So this is major arcana for Taurus or Libra. This empress could be some type of abundance. Divine feminine. This could be you. Very abundant. Very feminine. Unstoppable. Very attractive. Um, someone could be pregnant, divine feminine, if this is not you, this could be like some um, feminine energy around you. This could be your mother, a grandmother, a cousin, a niece, um, or some type of abundance. It don't, the empress don't have to be a person. When I asked for more information about the star in reverse, two cards came out and it was the three of cups and the page of wands. The three of cups and the page of wands. What clarified the Three of Cups was this Knight of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo. Oh, this star energy is Aquarius Major Arcana. So this is Major Arcana for Aquarius. Yeah, so what clarified the Three of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The Three of Cups is Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What clarified this Page of Wands was the Knight of Wands. More Fire Energy. So we're going to see what's going on. Um, This Star in Reverse can be Divine Masculine. But I'm going to see who that is. This Star in Reverse, is this Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine, the Star in Reverse. Yep, I think I know what's going on. But before I say something, let me put some um the tea leaf on this energy. What's going on? Clarify the star in reverse. Ooh. So I'm gonna take these two cards and it say clouds, temporary problem, and man dealings or relationship with the man. Okay, this man usually. Don't have to be, but usually this man in this tea leaf deck right here is a karmic to me. This man right here. Temporary problems. Um, but this can be your divine masculine. This could be your divine masculine in this energy. Man, is this divine masculine? 
No. Okay. So this man is some type of karmic um, that could have been around your divine masculine. Or this could be your divine masculine unawakened. I think this could be him unawakened. Or this is a karmic around your divine masculine. So, this three of cups. Is this a third party in love? This three of cups? No. Okay. Mm, nope. So, this ain't what I thought it was. Let me see. Clarify the three of cups in this page of wands. Clarify this three of cups in this page of wands. Three of cups and a page of wands. Okay. So this is new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Archway. So, man, is this um a hater? This man, is this a hater? Yeah. Okay. So this man right here is some type of masculine, some man around your divine masculine. Um, and I'm getting, he's putting his two cents in, he in your divine masculine ear, he putting his two cents into something, or he's the one who got your divine masculine star in reverse. But what I'm getting, oh, let me see, yeah, your divine masculine around a karmic, it could be his karmic. Like, this man right here could be a cousin, an uncle, um, somebody. But, the start in reverse. Is this the Divine Masculine under attack? Is this Divine Masculine under some type of attack? Mm. Um... Is this Divine Masculine getting rid of this man? Is Divine Masculine getting rid of this man? Uh, yeah. Yup. Okay. So that's what's going on. Your Divine Masculine, he's starting reverse. Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine can be an Aquarius. Your Divine Masculine getting rid of this man. Whoever he is, it's a karmic around your Divine Masculine. Could be a hater, a frenemy. Your Divine Masculine is telling this man, goodbye, good riddance. I don't need your advice. Whatever this man is, whoever he is, he could be a lawyer, a mechanic, somebody, somebody, a friend. But I'm getting this man was giving your divine masculine some type of wrong advice or wasting your divine masculine time. Um, This could be letting me know whoever this karmic is around your divine masculine. This is a temporary problem for your divine masculine because he's getting rid of him. Or this man... Was turning a mountain into a molehill. So for example. Divine Feminine. Your Divine Masculine could have been going back. Talking to this man about you and his relationship. And something that was a temporary problem. He could have had your Divine Masculine thinking it was the end of the world. Like just being negative. A hater. Something like that this man was doing. But your Divine Masculine is letting me know. Your Divine Masculine could be a water sign or an earth sign. Your Divine Masculine is committed to reuniting with you. Just let me know he committed to reuniting with you. This could also let me know Divine Feminine because of this man right here. That your Divine Masculine had dealings or relationship with. Y'all reunion could have become stagnant because of this man. Yep. Yeah. Because this Three of Cups is a new opportunity. Possibilities and paths opening up. So, that's what was going on. Your Divine Masculine had this man around. And he wasn't no good. This man, Divine Feminine, this man could have wanted you. So, he was telling your Divine Masculine to get rid of you. This man could have liked it, your Divine Masculine. He could have been bisexual or gay. And like in secret, he liked it, your Divine Masculine. So, of course, he's not going to give him no type of advice on how to get back with you. This man was saying stuff he ain't had no business. And I'm getting he was doing it on purpose. So, this page of wands. 
Let me see. This Page of Wands. Is this Divine Masculine? Page of Wands. Is this Divine Masculine? Mm. This Page of Wands. Your Divine Masculine was committed to reuniting with you, Divine Feminine? Or he is committed to re reuniting with you? Page of Wands. Is this this man that the Divine Masculine was dealing with? Is this this man... Oh yeah, okay. Um Okay. So mm, this page of wands. This knight of wands. Is this your divine master? Oops, yep. So I'm okay. Okay, so I'm getting two things from this. This energy right here. Your divine master, this is letting me know. Because of this man that your divine masculine had around him, y'all reunion could have become stagnant. Or your divine masculine is or was committed to reuniting with you, divine feminine. Um, this three of cups could be you and him getting together, getting up, whatever, going on a date, whatever, socializing. But what happened? This man is this page of wands, and I'm getting I heard sneaky fox. This man right here. The sneaky fox. He was trying to be slick. He was very sure of himself. The page of wands is um, somewhat optimistic. So if this is someone being negative, it's like you couldn't tell them that they wasn't going to get away with it. So whatever this man was doing, he thought he was going to get away with it. Very optimistic. Very sure of himself, but immature. Not thinking too slick to slide. This man right here was um overly confident about deceiving your divine masculine and it let me know this knight of wands is your divine masculine so whatever this man was doing in this page of wands energy your divine masculine caught him your divine masculine caught him doing something that's why your divine masculine went in reverse he getting rid of this man Yep. Um, this man don't necessarily have to be. This man didn't necessarily have to be coming up directly against you and his relationship, Divine Feminine. But some way so, or another, for example, say like your Divine Masculine, this is your Divine Masculine mechanic. And your Divine Masculine, he was supposed to be fixing on your Divine Masculine car. And your divine masculine ca catches this mechanic causing more damage to the vehicle. Or he was doing something to your divine masculine car. So it's like this man messing with your divine masculine car kept him from coming to travel towards you. Something like that this man was doing. So it was directly affecting you and your divine masculine relationship or indirectly. But whatever this man was doing, your divine masculine caught him. That's what I'm getting. He caught him. So, your Divine Masculine start in reverse. I don't trust you. Um, we done. I don't trust you. Start in reverse. But this Empress. Mm, this Empress. Um, this Empress. This Empress. I don't know if this man could have been promising your Divine Masculine some type of abundance. Or some type of solution to a problem that your divine masculine is giving up on. The Empress. Is this a person? This Empress? Is this a person? This Empress. Mm. It's telling me, yeah. Um, the Empress. Is this the karmic? This Empress? No. The Empress, is this Divine Feminine? Okay. All right. Um, I'm getting two things. Divine Feminine, it could have been something you told your Divine Masculine. You could have said something to him in the past, or this week you're going to say something to him. 
you could have warned your divine masculine about this man. But it's like when he catch this man doing whatever he doing against you, against him, it's like he's going to remember what you said. Or it's something about you that help him make up his mind to leave this man alone. Because it's like he going to reverse. He don't trust this man no more. And he going to break off ties with this man. Something to do with you. But you in the upright. So this is like a positive influence to his decision making. That's what I'm getting. Or he's thinking about you. You're in his mind. And that helps him make his decision. His final decision to cut ties with this man. Something like that going on. So, I'm going to leave this here at the bottom. Because that's what's going on down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go to the top and read y'all oracle and this perception. And it say, the frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity. Moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real. And to take a good, hard, deep look at it. So, that's kind of like a lot. <clears throat> I'm going to read it again. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity. Moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real. And to take a good, hard, deep look at it. So, Divine Feminine, what I'm picking up initially from the bottom, this energy at the bottom. This could be your Divine Masculine and your energy. What I'm getting, Divine Feminine, you was always in this frequency. And it's like your divine masculine is like, now he in this frequency. It's like, whatever you could have warned him about in the past or this week, it's like he's going to, he's going to like follow your footsteps. It's like, he's going to get it. He's going to understand why you said what you said, why you warned him about this man perception. So it's like, this is him. He's finding the edges of what we perceive as real. He's taking a good, hard, deep look at something. And I'm getting, he's going to figure out that you was right the whole, whole time. Something. So, what clarified perception was the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, this is some type of, this could be some type of lie. Some form of deception. Somebody not telling the truth about something. This could be someone not getting a victory. Um, yeah, so this is either someone not getting some type of breakthrough, not comprehending something. This is like somebody saying the lights is on, but ain't nobody home. Ace of Swords in reverse. Well, clarified the Ace of Swords in reverse was this Page of Wands. So at the bottom, the Page of Wands was this man. And at the top, I'm going to see if that's him. When I ask for more information about the Ace of Swords in reverse, no. When I ask for more information about y'all Oracle perception, the Heart of Pentacles came out. So, Divine Feminine, this could be you. Don't have to be. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, very stable, reliable, down to earth, dependable, good money, good money manager, good wife, reliable. I said that already. What well, clarified the Queen of Pentacles was the Ace of Pentacles. So, this is a, a solid, stable, firm offer. This offer is usually something someone wouldn't say no to unless it's a, for a good reason. This Ace of Pentacles could be a new car, a new home, a bonus, a raise. This can be the birth of a child, the Ace of Pentacles, asking somebody out on a date. So, clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, excitement. Firecracker. This fire energy. This man could very well be a fire sign. A Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Clarify the Heart of Pentacles. Divine Feminine, you or your Divine Masculine could be an Earth sign. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Shell, you need to defend yourself. You need to defend yourself. So, let me see. This page of wands up here at the top. Is this this man? This page of wands at the top. Is this this man? No. 
Page of Wands. Is this um Divine Master? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, so this page of wands right here um, is your divine masculine. <clears throat> um, hmm. Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Is this divine masculine? Is this divine masculine? No. Ace of Swords in reverse. Is this this man? Yeah. Whew, divine feminine, I don't know. I don't know if you're divine masculine, if you're aware of it. I don't know. You could be cool with it. But this man right here could be a lover of your divine masculine. Your divine masculine could probably go both ways. Um, But like I said, divine feminine, I don't know if you're aware of it. If you is, I don't, you could be, I don't know if you, you know, you could be all right with it. But this man could very well be a lover of your divine masculine. And um, of course... He didn't want y'all together. Um, or he could have wanted, I don't know. Or he didn't want y'all to reunite if that's your divine masculine lover. Um, and if this man is your divine masculine lover, that don't mean he, that he in a relationship with him. He just sleeping with him. Probably from time to time. But, let me see. What I'm getting, your divine masculine, he paid your wines. Um, paid your wines. Mm. But it's like he, your divine masculine is figuring out that this man lied. Whatever this man said to him, the ace of swords in reverse, is like... This firecracker could be letting me know your divine master could be pissed off about he figured out this lie, this ace of swords in reverse. Or this man, this man that lied to your divine masculine is like it could have caused some type of excitement. This excitement could be him, he was happy to tell this lie, or it could spark like some type of argument between him and your divine masculine. So this excitement could be good excitement or like an altercation. But it's like your divine masculine page of wands. And I'm trying to figure out what is that telling me. Um, Because I don't know if your divine masculine could be like getting on this man level. Because it's like this man is already page of wands down here at the bottom trying to be slick. Oh, sneaky fox. Um... So, it's like, I think, I don't know, your Divine Masculine could, like, get on his level or play it off like he don't know. Something like that. Your Divine Masculine and Page of Wands energy at the top. Yeah. But, um, Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles. Is this Divine Masculine? Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, that's him, that Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, is this this man? Is this this man? This Ace of Pentacles? No. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Is this Divine Masculine? This Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So. Huh. Huh. It's letting me know, Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine is this Queen of Pentacles. So, if your Divine Masculine, like, on the DL, he was the feminine in the relationship. And it's like, he made some type of offer, some type of offer, probably to this man to get to this Queen of Pentacles status. But what I'm getting a little bit, Divine Feminine, is like your Divine Masculine, like, play himself a little bit. Because I'm getting like like some backwardness. Something backwards. He did something backwards. That's what I'm getting. Like he got tripped up. Because it's like two of pentacles. Like he juggling. So this could be him juggling divine feminine. I'm not saying. I'm saying that could be a possibility. He don't have to be on the DL. But if he is. 
It's like he was juggling you and that man, Divine Feminine. So it's like I'm getting, he doing something backwards. Or like he either played himself or he tripped himself. Something he did. But I'm getting, he played himself a little bit. Because he was juggling. Two of Pentacles. Um, If this, if your Divine Masculine is not like involved sexually with this man... He could have made this man some type of offer, not really knowing this man, who he is. And he could have wanted this, your Divine Masculine could have wanted this Queen of Pentacles status, Divine Feminine, to possibly, like, compete with you. Or to, or to prove to you, like, he's worthy. But I'm getting your Divine Masculine was in his feminine energy. So, it's something... <sighs> It's something your Divine Masculine was doing that was off or wrong. But it's like that Queen of Pentacles energy, he needs to defend himself. Yeah, your Divine Masculine, if this Queen of Pentacles energy would have manifested, your, or it probably did. But whatever your Divine Masculine doing in that Queen of Pentacles energy, he's going to have to defend himself. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, if your Divine Masculine is sleeping with this man, and it's like he the feminine in a relationship, it's like this man right here could like be jealous of you, and it's like you going to have to defend yourself because your Divine Masculine is the female in the other relationship. <laughs> Something like that going on. Something like that is going on. But Divine Feminine, I'm going to read your oracle again, and it's a perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity. Moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real. And to take a good, hard, deep look at it. So Divine Feminine, this could be telling you to take a deeper look at your Divine Master. Or you might have to accept some truth about him. Something. Something going on. What I what I just got was divine feminine. If you if you have a conversation with your divine masculine this week, listen before you talk. Listen more than you talk, cause I'm picking up a little bit. This this divine feminine energy, your divine masculine could be um on a DL. And it's like he the female in the relationship, unbeknownst to you, divine feminine, and this man right here, cause it's letting me know your divine masculine break ties with this man. And this man, his lover, could very well come up against you. Because he could be jealous of you. And it's like, because your divine masculine was being crazy, he the female in the relationship with this man, you're going to have to defend yourself, divine feminine. Something like that. Something shady like that going on. Um, This could have been something that happened in the past. Yep. But you're, it's letting me know your divine masculine.